Oh, what's going on, YouTubers? It's the Natural Born Thriller, and welcome everyone to WWE NXT UK review, the show from May 22nd, 2019. They were still in Glasgow, Scotland. You have your commentators, which is Nigel McGuinness and Vic Joseph. And, folks, I just want to say one thing. Um, I guess I must have heard wrong or something like that. What pertains to the Fatal 4 way qualifying match to uh, to be part of that normal contendership Fatal 4 way match. So, basically, or maybe it's all probably. Uh, so, basically, uh, they did have one more match on here uh, where it pertains to qualify for the. Uh, for the fatal four-way no more contention match to fa uh to win, uh you know, basically whoever wins that one will will face the NXT UK champion, which is uh either is Pete Dunne or the champion himself, Walter. Once we get to that main event, so I thought it was gonna be all in this show that was gonna happen, but for, um apparently that, that wasn't the case. Um, but you know it happens though, and I, and I want to apologize for that. But with that being said, let's let's get right to the show, shall we? So we get Joseph Connors versus uh, Travis Banks to qualify to the fair four way match. It's, you know, basically the final spot. Match so I thought it was pretty decent between both jo Joseph Connor and Travis Banks. Obviously, in the end, with, with, the, with the Kiwi Crusher, Travis Banks wins the match. So yeah, after the match, uh, Travis Banks ends a Connor promo about you know earning his spot to be in the Mokuton and talks about you know his. Uh, the guys that's gonna be in it, like for example, um, the bomber, um, Dave Mastiff. <laughs> his his name drew a blank from. Uh, I apologize for that. Um, Zane Gallus, Joe Coffey, and the the ace of you know NXT UK, basically the the Irish the Irish ace, Jordan Devlin, and he say he claims that to be. But Kiwi Bustle is claims to he's going to become the new no more contender to face the WWE United Kingdom Champion or NXT UK Champion, whichever you want to say. Again, we'll get to that main event later. Uh, we see a um, a promo cut from Nia Samuels, who represents the Tony Storm, where she's uh, sh uh, you know. That Tony Storm was the easiest puppet to ma manipulate, or retains to her masterpiece, her or should I say her latest masterpiece, latest, latest masterpiece. She played right in her, in her hands, know that. Now she's got 100% control. She got the tight opportunity that she wanted, because she knew that Tony Storm was gonna, uh, you know, put the belt on her line. You know, and to um to get to grab their um, you know, uh, Nia Samuels, and yeah, basically um, and the match is gonna. And the match is going to happen on, on the next NXT show. Or should I say the NXT UK show. <laughs> to say, you know, Ashley. Um, we get to Mark Andrews versus Noem Dar. The re basically the rematch that, we're on that, you know, since the last time, you know, when they both got hurt. Now we get this match again. Um, you know, looks like it was, um, you know, it's going to be a friendly competition. Also, Noem Dar was fading, uh, an, fading, uh, favoring a knee injury again. Only to you know to attack Mark Andrews from behind, and then it takes him out with the um, I can't remember how he calls it. Uh, you know, represents to uh, Norman Dar being the the Scottish Supernova, but he uh, ends up winning the match anyways with a, uh, basically like like a shining wizard type of move, and gets the recount on the win. After the match, he goes to do that on um, that that ah damn again, that right that ah ah. <laughs> Hopefully that, that catches on with uh with the uh, NXT UK fans, you know, because that uh, last time that happened that was it was it was, it was hilarious when Norman Dark kept doing that. Uh, at first I was annoyed of it, and then I'm like, "What are you doing?" And everything, and all of a sudden the crowd started doing it, and they was going ah ah, and whatever all moves he does ah, <laughs> and you know it's the fans you know having fun and all that, and it was a good match too at the time, but unfortunately with the injuries um getting gotten away there from both Mark Andrews and. Uh, Norman Dar, but this time Norman Dar, uh, favorite, you know, pretended he had a uh, knee injury there just to uh, to get a win over Mark Andrews. So yeah, Norman Dar was do a heel. So there you go.
which is no surprise in there, folks. Based on how how, how was acting, how uh, Norman Dar was acting, um, no surprise there. Then we get to the grizzled young veterans who just um, basically uh, talk about Mustache Mountain will retain to challenge enough for the uh, the titles. Uh, where it to the champion says that the fans don't make the matches, the wrestlers don't make the matches, um, and they uh, will earn their, earn their opportunity when they, whenever they, uh, whenever you know, you know, just like everyone else is going to uh, have to, uh, you know, basically um, uh, earn that opportunity. Basically, and they were being interviewed by, uh, you know, Ram Ramsey, and that, and that was basically it. That was nothing else to say about that. We get to Rhea Ripley coming out to cut a promo about where it pertains to, uh, you know, um, the crowds, where you know, the crowds are expecting her to compete, and she says, "Well, I'm not going to compete." Tough, you know, uh, tough noodles, whatever, you know. No, I'm just kidding. Not tough noodles. Uh, you know, too bad, basically. And she says to uh, Piper Nevin that she's a wannabe superstar, and she fears her and all that, and she's told uh, basically. Uh, to be raped, she basically um keep, she, she continues to be raped, uh be raped. I meant to say <laughs> to uh to Piper Nevin, Piper Nevin, and to let her know that she, you know, her nightmare is coming to reality. And there you go. That's nothing to say. That we R- 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 came out there to cut a promo, and that was it. Now I don't know if you know, she could, came out to cut a promo because she's hurt, because I, I I did hear some I did I did hear some some um uh, updates of her um at the time. That she has a, uh, 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 an injury that she um, that she's going through right now. This look this look like it to me though. Uh, if, 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 she, if she did if she did got injured, maybe it was because of a, a, a scare injury that 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 sort of happened. So I don't know. It depends. It depends. But anyways. Uh, but yeah, that but that, but that was that. Uh, then we get to catch us on though. And he grabs um, a camera man. He brings um into the office of of Johnny Saint, who's the general manager of NXT UK. And unfortunately, there was no giant saint. It was Skit Scarlet, and basically, what pertains to uh, getting an opportunity, and basically, Skit, Skit Scarlet um, is going to give Catcher Ono an opportunity to face 205 Live uh, gentleman Jack Gallagher, and that match is going to happen. Um, yeah, I believe on the next episode of NXT UK, but we'll see. Then we get to the main event. We get. Pete Dunne, the challenger, versus the NXT UK champion, Walter. So they haven't had it. And their match, um, it wasn't like um, from NXT from NXT TakeOver. Um, what, where were they at again? New Orleans? Yeah, NXT uh, TakeOver New Orleans. Yo, because WrestleMania was at, what, oh no, 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 that was last year's. Was it? I can't remember. Oh, okay, yeah, it was last year. This year, what, what were there this year again? Uh, what's the Phoenix? I know that because Phoenix was uh was was was, was Boy Rumble. Man, WrestleMania just came in came and gone. Um, I can't remember what, where they were at. Oh yeah, they were in New Jersey. But yo, know, but WWE will say the shadow of New York City, whatever, whatever. But yeah, uh, it was. <clears throat> excuse me, it was NXT. Take over New York, which was in Brooklyn, New York, but still, that's what the um that, that was um you know the match that they had. What I thought was a very great uh, a great match. This match it was just good. Um, and then also we get Fabian Eichner coming out because you know Pete Dunne's getting ready to go for the win here. So yeah, Fabian Eichner comes out. He puts uh, Walter's foot on the ropes. Referee sees this and tells um Fabian Eichner what are you doing out here and everything. And then Marcel Bardell attacks Pete Dunne with, with the towel belt on the back of his head. Walter also goes for the power bomb because you know Walter doesn't know what's going on at this at this point, and gets a three count in the win because of outside interferences. Also, we get Fabian Eichner and uh, Marcel Bardell coming into the ring. Walter stands along with them in the middle of the ring, and they pose to end the show with Pete Dunne, you know, uh, flat, flat, flat on his back. And I'm saying to myself, oh my God, this is a, this is the faction. And we'll get to more of who else who else could be in that faction too, by the way, folks. Um, that has, that, has come, that, has, that has not come yet, but we'll, uh, we'll, eventually we'll get to that point when we get to it. Um, and, and you'll understand why um, this person ends up being on NXT UK. But yeah, but yeah, that's that was the show. And I thought the show was good. 
especially the, oh, the, the whole swerve in the, in the end. I, didn't see, I, I definitely didn't see that coming. Talking about wrestling for NXT UK, the show from um, May 22nd, 2019. Uh, Let me just double check the matches that happened here. I'm assuming it was just dream matches. Yeah, it was just dream matches. There was no women's matches. Because uh, Ruby refused to compete. <laughs> uh, so my overall strength for the show, I'm going to go 6.5 out of 10. And with that being said, thank you all for watching. For the Natural Born Driller, I say peace on the streets. For this NXT UK review. Thank you, folks. Cheers, y'all.